I'm now recording. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the IPFS All Hands meeting. Sweet. Normally, we do this in Google Hangouts. I'm super sorry. Google Hangouts didn't want to work for me today. Um, there's actually a, a lot of difficulty in that process between switching accounts and making it work, and sometimes it doesn't work. Today was one of those days. We're going to have a wider discussion before we switch to Zoom, if we switch to Zoom, so don't feel like this is going to be a permanent change. Just for today, this seems to work. Um, if you want to join in, I'm sorry, because uh, you can't be streaming this right now. So, never mind about that. Uh, today, we're going to start a different type of call. Um, normally, our all-hands meeting are us going around and being like, what are you working on? What's blocking you? What can you get help on? So we're going to do something different. I don't know much about it, so I'm going to switch it over to Matt, who is going to be the moderator today. Um, for everyone on this call, it's super important that you check out the Etherpad, which has the agenda. Uh, we're going to be following this agenda very strictly today, try to keep it tight. So if you need to find the Etherpad, it's, I'll link it right now in the IRC. And on that note, Matt, take it away. Uh, should we start with a roll call? If you think so. All right. Well, uh, yeah, let's start with the roll call and then I'll, I'll give an explanation of the structure I'm proposing, which will be, a, I think will be workable until we come up with something better. Uh, so roll call by, uh, you do it. Oh, you were, what was, how have you guys done roll calls? By so I used to do it alphabetically because Google Hangout shows them that way. Now that we're on Zoom, I don't know how to do this properly because I don't know if we all have the same. Does everyone see Emily in the top left corner? No. no. Okay, so now we're going to have to do it differently. So, all right. So is this also necessary if we're all on a video call and we can see each other? I would say no. Welcome, okay. Gavin. So maybe, Richard, could you, as note taker, write down the names of who's on the call? I'd be happy to. Okay, and then I will proceed with uh, usually the first thing we would do after roll call is to ask for more agenda items. But before we do that, I'm going to describe the call format that I'm proposing. So the idea for this all hands call is to be a brief check in that has everyone on the call. And it's the opportunity for you to call out things that are cross cutting topics or, hey, there's this important thing that needs discussion. Who wants to participate in that discussion? So like top level brief discussions that are then delegating the lengthier discussions or the detailed discussions of tickets to project specific sprint calls. Uh, and then, so we'll try to keep this call short. Of course, the first couple times we do it, it might be a little bit longer because part of the discussion will be figuring out the process. Um, but the, the main point there is that it lets everyone check in and get a sense of what everyone is doing without having to be listening in on all of the details of all of the projects. Um, so I, I want to allow a little bit of time for discussing that and then a little bit of time for discussing the temporary format we can use for those project specific sprint calls while we figure out a more stable formal sense of how we want to run those uh, individual projects for instance and management. So any discussion, any questions about this format, ideas, misgivings, thoughts? Okay, I see a bunch of thumbs up. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, so then the format is simple. You can propose any agenda item. We will try to keep the discussion of any agenda item down to like maybe five minutes per agenda item. And uh, I, the moderator is something we should rotate. This isn't a particularly like elaborate task of moderating. It's just mainly timekeeping. Uh, and the main thing the moderator does is try to keep the discussion on track and ask questions like, seems like this is, this is going to take more discussion. Do you want to move this to a sprint call? Does it need its own sprint call? Things like that. Um, so it's mainly about keeping things rolling, keeping it smooth. Uh, so given that, any other questions before we, we dive into the agenda that we have? Okay. All right. So um, the first thing to start with, so we've been proposing agenda items uh, on GitHub by attaching them to the sprint ticket for this call. Uh, so we have a bunch of agenda items on here already. Does anyone have additional agenda items that are not listed here in the Etherpad? One. Uh, I'd like to propose just a short um, thing where I'll ask people for some information. I'm preparing a big update for everyone 
uh, in the whole community. Uh, and I'd love to like mention some things that I'm not gonna ask people to send me. So a request for information about what? Uh, just, it'll be um, mostly like over the last few months. I'm gonna send like a Q2 update to the whole community. Um, okay. And I'll just ask for some uh, info. Okay. And any, any other agenda items? Oh, I just. Something. I have one agenda item slash question, yeah. which is I'm not sure if we are still doing the check-ins through GitHub issues. Um, I mean, through the same GitHub issue. Uh, so if I can be in one of the items, just confirm if we are still supposed to write down what we achieved in the week before. And, and if so, uh, I would like to propose something uh, related with that. So I guess we can do. Uh, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's give that its own agenda item and we'll, we'll do it as the, f the first item uh, uh, after, like sort of the next item is like, how do we keep notes? Oh, all right, so you got that. Uh, sorry, Richard already typed it. So any other agenda items? All right, all right. I see nobody raising their hand. Uh, all right, so then the, the first thing is like, how are we keeping these notes? As everyone probably sees, we've been using the, the weekly sprint issue as the place where people can propose agenda items. So there's already a little bit of a history there. In previous, for previous calls, we have pasted, or I shouldn't say we, uh, it looks like you have been pasting the, pasting the notes, pasting the notes from the notes from each comment on that one consolidated issue, which means that you can go to that issue and see all of the notes for all the calls that happened on that week. That was really useful for me as someone joining on. I think we should keep doing that. Uh, is that what you were talking about, David? You were asking whether we should keep doing that. Yeah, so I was asking if we should keep doing that. And um, I think also I agree. Uh, I really like to have that information. Like it takes maybe like five minutes for, uh, for uh, of each one to write it down and really helps others to understand what's going on. And also uh, on that, I would like to propose because uh, we have been always saying what we have managed to accomplish. And we typically uh, let go like the things that we didn't accomplish or the things that we didn't plan to do that week but somehow we said to someone that we were going to do, but then we didn't do, we never like write those down. And I think like if we keep doing those check-ins, it'd be very important to write a section to our check-in saying, hey, I didn't manage to do this, which can be a thing that you had planned before, or it can be a thing that was added during the week, but that at least like let the team know, the community know that you are not able to, because it might be because you're blocked, because you didn't have time, because your time was consumed by some other thing. And like then we can actively uh, proactively fix that. Like we can give that person more time. We can like bring more resources, bring more people to help with those tasks. Uh, and if we don't write those down, like then weeks pass, and then we don't we we don't have a way to look back and understand which items were dropped along the way. I think this depends uh, a lot on how we end up doing the project management stuff. Um, I also would love to have a listing of. Uh, one you know one central place where you can look at and see all the things that people have been up to and you know what was achieved and also certainly what was dropped so that we can make sure it gets handled the next week um, particularly for very pressing things um, but I do think that this is gonna depend a bit on whether we end up going for like more of a Kanban thing or a more of a scrum thing um, which I'm, I'm not 100% sure what like the conversation has evolved um, at the very least we can certainly write summaries for sure uh, in terms of allocations, um, it, I would love to also get, get a sense of how people are doing in general with the milestones for a whole quarter. Um, because detecting slipping there is super important. And I think um, these Monday moments are like a really good checkup time uh, weekly uh, to see how we're doing on that. Yeah, on, on that note, I was just writing an update 15 minutes ago, and I was thinking that these updates where I list the individual issues like this has happened is actually feels to me like a waste of time. If we actually have these uh, nice waffle boards, for example, given that we have some way of taking uh, something like backups or screenshots in time of these boards, because it's super important and interesting to look at the development of the board over time so that I can go 
back to last week and look at the board when it, how it looked then, for example, and compare it to how the board looks now. Um, given all my issues would be tracked through that board, I would need to go around and write all these issues, these things down in notes. But rather, once a week, when the sprint ha the sync happens, take screenshots, whatever, some way of noting down the current state of the board or multiple boards. And then we have that as an overview. Yeah. We can probably discuss all the actual mechanics of what we want to do, like whether screenshots or writing or whatever um, on GitHub and so on. I think mostly we should agree on the model of what we want, whether we want updates, what should be on them, um, like what kind of information should be on them. Uh, yeah. And so on. So I'm, uh, I'm unsure of whether, are you proposing that this stuff should be discussed on the all hands call or are you asking about whether this stuff gets covered at all on the some breakout call? Oh, um, I, I'm just thinking it should be covered at some point. Um, okay. I don't necessarily think it needs to be covered now. Uh, yeah, I think at this point, like pre everyone pretty much um, just wants to move with something. So um, probably the people that are most interested in, in figuring out what this looks like will be have that discussion. Um, maybe yeah, breakout. Can this be part of the project management uh, breakout? Yeah, I think it has to be. Like getting into the details of how we're going to so. Uh, just a question. So people are commenting in the Zoom chat. Should that discussion be happening in IRC instead of in the Zoom call? All of those things are meta conversations so far, okay. so I think it's fine for right now. But any topic related to what we're actually talking about should definitely be on IRC. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. So uh, did that cover, W? did that cover your question sufficiently for now. I think this whole thing about process and how these calls are gonna be structured and what we're gonna revisit is something that is actually the next agenda item. It's like it's all, we're figuring that out right now as part of this PM process discussion. And in the meantime, things are gonna be a little bit loose and, and we're, we're gonna do our best to like not waste a lot of time and be as efficient as we can, but also like not waste everyone's time learning some process that we're going to throw away in a couple weeks. Uh, oh, Richard, yeah, David, um, your comments about having a way to mark things that like we didn't get to, and the GitHub sprints should actually be its own issue on GitHub. So, can I have that as an actual item for you to open? Sound good? That's good. Thank nice. you. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So, uh, so then the next item, the, the PM process discussions, Had I put myself on is to, to lead the discussion just because I didn't want to offer you. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to do a little update slash check in about what we're doing there. Sure. Okay. So basically, after after all the discussions in Lisbon, um, the the goal is to put together a process for managing our projects in the ITFS community. And, and I'd like to call it ITFS organization. There's a lot of different parties there and a lot of different stakeholders uh, with their own agendas. Um, so what we're trying to find is a, a general enough process that the projects in the ITFS community can opt into if they want to. That's something to, to underline here. Nobody's required to, to opt into uh, the IPFS project management format if they don't want to. Um, but I think at this point, there's quite a few protocol labs projects that would like to use this approach. So we have a good way of um, starting testing different ways of, of doing that. And then as time goes by and other projects get bigger, we can have something for them as a, as a guideline to basically implement a project management project uh, process. And so what has been done so far is a lot of discussion regarding uh, what it is and how we do it. And it was pointed out that we should first figure out the model. So kind of the, the abstract theory around it. And I think Juan put it in a, in a nice way. The goal there is to figure out the description for the process so that you can implement it with post-it notes if needed. 
Um, so that's the first step. There's a, there's a discussion and a document um, as a pull request. I'll continue working on that document based on your feedback. Thank you, Matt and Juan and David and whoever else gave some feedback on that. Um, and I think after one more iteration, we can have the model kind of as a, as a baseline. And then we can continue, you know, iterating on it, discussing, well, is this good or is this not good and, and so on. And then we can go to the discussion of the mechanics. Um, so I've been trying to defer the mechanics discussion since last week as it's rightfully pointed out in the issue that, you know, we should concentrate on the abstract stuff first. But I think one of the key points that I discussed with Jeremy was that at the end of the day, we would like to have something where the tooling basically automates the whole process. So what's described right now is kind of a big structure from roadmaps to individual milestones, to individual goals, to individual tasks and, and bugs and so on. And each one of them kind of gathers the, the projects on a different level uh, together. And ideally something that does all of that for you by a you know, CI hook to a repository or a button somewhere where you can just press and say, generate all of this. Um, that's kind of where I think the tooling would be nice to head to. So that's kind of where we are. Um, any questions, comments? One? Yeah, that all sounds awesome. Um, super excited. Uh, quick question on, because I think a little bit of this iteration, certainly in the mechanics, will take a bit of time. Um, it probably is one of the most important things to spend time on, I think, right now. Um, so kind of like a request to everyone who cares about this to like, you know, dedicate some time to it like upfront this week uh, so we can like land this as soon as we can. Um, and then just in the contingency of like, I don't know how long that might take, whether that's planned for like this week or planned for next week or something. Um, we may want to like just figure out what we, just for now, like, you know, do we still write, have people write their updates and decide what they're, picking what they're going to do and like tell people what they're going to do or like what should people do this week um, is there a question in my head I guess. yeah it would be super good if we had like something to like do like we just do what we did for now until we have the new process figured out or like this is what we do until we figure things out um, ideally this should be as simple as possible and avoid like shedding over the intermediary solution as much as possible so I think like that would be great if what we were doing now was coherent and it hasn't been for the last month or so. So yeah. I propose that instead of doing what we do now, that we actually go back to our previous manner of just writing down things in the sprint issue and just having it for this week. Cause we all know how to do that very well. Um, it might take some time, but we know how to do that. We know how it works. And we just make, I want to make that like very clear that that's what we should be doing anyway. So, Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I suggest we write that down somewhere, like post it. Um, to do everyone on this call, write their to do's in the sprint call. Got it. In this yes. yes. So you'll, uh, put, you'll put that in the notes, Richard? Yeah, I'm writing the notes slash minutes in the, in the etherpad if you guys see them. Cool. Uh, just a clarification, just because not necessarily everyone has followed the discussion on that PM thing. Could Juan or Simile clarify what you mean by model versus mechanics? Ah, yeah. And yeah, sorry, uh, Gavin Green, you jumped into like a bike shed that has been going on for a while. Uh, so this is uh, the thought here is we are revamping how we do the project management across all of the you know, dozens of repos that we have um, and you know, tons of contributors and so on uh, to find like a good way that everyone can work together. Um, and so people end up wanting different kinds of tools like whether to represent things as issues or GitHub milestones or labels or, you know, all, and we, we think of those or the point there was to think of those as mechanics of like the actual ways in which we implement some process. Um, and to instead at the beginning, just get the process right. Like just like the ideas um, 
like the abstract concept of like, hey, here's a project. Uh, the project has uh, a roadmap, and a roadmap has you know these like milestones. They don't need to be GitHub milestones necessarily, but they're just like some notion of like a batch of, of goals all together, um, and so on. So like the focus on the model is to just um, under get clarity on the process itself first, independent of all the mechanics in which we implement, um, to a, find agreement on that because that's way easier. Uh, then, and then see if we can enable some flexibility in the mechanics so that different people in different projects can handle things however they want. Um, or it, it may, may end up being very similar across the board, but there might be some tweaks and so on that are fine as long as um, the model is preserved. So that, that discussion at this point has gone to, if you look at the pull request of the, the PM, uh, PM document, PM process document, that basically outlined, like basically the, the model came together very smoothly. It's, it's kind of obvious, it's basically restating things that we were already doing or things we already had in our minds. And now the discussion that will be happening, not on this call, that people might want to in, might want to participate in or might want to have nothing to do with is is figuring out the mechanics of how do we make this work and that also involves a discussion of scrum versus kanban or some mix of the two and all of that definitely i and emily and juan and samuli are in that discussion Does anyone especially want to be included in that discussion and then otherwise does anyone especially want to get regular updates and be able to follow I would like to get updates. Um, I haven't been involved in the discussion because I frankly feel like there's a lot of cooks and I didn't want to just add another voice. Um, if at some point it would be useful to have another voice, please ping me because I would like to be involved. I'm just waiting for you guys to hash some more stuff out before I dive in and spend hours figuring things out. Richard, I will definitely want your opinion on the document before we consider it as a, a, a draft. Yeah, uh, me similar like what Richard said. I already saw there were many voices, and like, okay, I'm gonna wait until the main issues are figured out. So if you like feel ready, this is like more review ready. Then please ping me. Uh, I will. So on all of those, um, I think the good goal for this week is to get the, the model figured out by end of the week and have it reviewed by whoever wants to review that. And then next week we can start the discussion regarding the tooling. And, and, and I think in the, in the tooling part, we're going to have a lot of experimentation and different things and see what works, what doesn't, different ways of doing that and, you know, I don't think we're going to have one true solution for everyone um, right off the bat. It's going to take a while. Thank you. Okay. Great. So then I think the rest of this discussion can happen on GitHub and on, on IRC, the way it's been happening thus far. Does everyone agree with that? And if there's sort of on-the-fly calls between the people who are especially interested, that works. I don't necessarily need to plan a whole week in advance, just have one of those calls. David? I was just going to say, definitely GitHub, uh, it's always the best way. Uh, but it's, it sounded to me that we are pretty close to having the final version ready. So if we can, like, for example, uh, agree, because as Juan said, like, uh, if you are interested in the discussion, please like, uh, allocate some time during this week to review it. Like maybe like Wednesday, like everyone should be notified to hey, like review this issue now, so that like next week we can actually like go into implementation and not like reviewing, because we can do the review this week if we are that close. Cool. And, like if it's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. Like again, it's just like just like one of these days of this week. Uh, just like ping everyone so that everyone gives it to review. Yeah. Great. Uh, all right, so then the next agenda item, proposal for a breakout call, MFS and IPFS files. I, David, I wasn't sure if this was like, are you proposing that, that this is going to need a whole breakout call where a bunch of people call in, or is this like, this just needed five minutes of discussion with everyone else? Yeah, uh, we have talked about it a couple of times. Uh, there is an issue. There was another discussion uh, in Lisbon about like, what do we really need to do in order to like, 
finish that section. Uh, now we completed the items that were agreed during that first discussion that we needed to do. So now it's really okay. So now we have the context. We have gave time to people to like present their feedback. Should we move forward? Uh, and it can be a five minute discussion or if someone feels very strongly against, it can be a 30 minute discussion. <laughs> this is, so This is gonna be a lot of bike shedding. I think <laughs> it probably will require, I, I would rather do this bike shedding over GitHub. Um, okay. Just, I'll make time for it. Um, and I'll actually I'll make time for it. It's just, a call is gonna just not end. Uh, <laughs> So um, I think like if we commit to have the discussion through GitHub, and if we don't like have the discussion over like two months, uh, but like uh, over a couple of days, that would be like totally fine and pretty cool. So if you could like allocate like fifteen minutes of your time <laughs> to reflect yeah, your issue, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and yeah, like so, so yeah, the information is out there, uh, and for everyone that wants to follow, uh, the issue is on the other path and. That, that's it. Thank you, man. Matt, you're muted right now. Uh -huh. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, all right. So I, it just occurred to me that there were three things that are proposals for discussion that might need breakouts. So I, I rearranged the list so we can go through those first, and then, um, and then we can actually like make sure that. The next item is to talk about the schedule for today. Like, do we have we scheduled all the calls that are happening today? Um, so, just I'm just calling out that I rearranged that list a little bit. So, the next item on that list, number eight, proposal for discussion, hubs up. So, this is also David. Again, does this need? Are you proposing to have a breakout discussion for it, or is this just something that needs a little Just before that, it seems like Frido has a technical point. It was... I, it, well, it wasn't a technical point. I, sorry, I was just very... Uh, my son came in the room. So I, I just wanted to mention about the MFS moving to GitHub. I think this is really good, but I think this needs a time limit because it seems to me that this is an issue that's been discussed for very long, and like Okay, we want to make a decision in four weeks or something like that. Yeah, we we'll discuss all of that uh, on GitHub. Uh, this has been stated many times. Yes, it's okay. a good thing. It requires a lot of thought. Um, I think one technical point, by the way, on, on this call, I think it'll go a lot faster if when we have questions, we write them on IRC, um, and we can just make sure to check them, and the facilitator can read them uh, to just make sure that like they, you know, they can incorporate them. Um, that works well for normal questions. It doesn't work for uh, not everyone. So I'm a note taker. I'm taking notes. I can't look at IRC and the notes at the same time. Um, yeah, I have. Sorry. When I'm facilitating, I have trouble. I basically pay attention to whoever's talking and try to. And especially since we have video, I watch everyone's faces, but I am not paying attention to IRC right now. Just He's raising hands should be fine, I think, as a way of saying you have a question if it's relevant. Um, since we've now broken up the discussion, I really have to do make the technical point. So technical point, actual technical point, I have four minutes left in this call because um, I hadn't paid for Zoom and Zoom. So I'm going to leave the meeting and I'll issue a new Zoom account. Um, I think it switched because I got a message that Emily is now, now, yeah. now the host. And then it's we'll have the down. countdown. Okay, so let's just let it go out. If I'm the host, then hopefully it'll stick around. But if it doesn't, then we'll just we'll find out. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And we will all reconnect. Okay. Back to PubSub slash PubSub. All right. So, so yeah, PubSub. David, does this need a, a? Do we need to schedule a call for this, or do you just need five minutes to talk about it? No, this needs a call because there are several people interested in discussing this topic. Uh, for example, uh, Gavin and Reed joined us today to get into the PubSub discussion that we have been having since the IPFS workshop and since like many months before. Um, and there are there is already a bunch of notes uh, on GitHub and we need to figure out what to do next, what should we be, uh, be doing uh, with our time. If it's like continuing doing the research, start like doing a prototype, well, see like who has the availability to do that. So it, it definitely needs a call. Okay. 
right, well then, do we want to do that call today? I'm assuming since Gavin's here today, yeah. we wanted to schedule yeah. that today. Mm -hmm. I, we're aiming to keep this call at least under an hour. So, so do you want, that means we have a half hour to spare before the JSI PFS call. Do you want to do it then? Sounds good. Okay. You could also do it during the go PFS call because that won't happen because Jeremy's on a plane. All right, good point. So do people, well, it, is there not going to be a go PFS call? It's the sort of thing where we I think there's should. really no. In reality, we should be having these calls because you know we shouldn't kind of like alter everything, except that uh, it, the call will basically be mostly useless without Jeremy there. And there's not much to talk right now without Jeremy. As I'm working simulti hash, uh, there's no Lars, so. So let's let's switch. Um, go IPFS and pops up. Does so this work for you, Gavin? Sweet. If you two want it to be sooner, it could be in that half hour to spare. Um, yeah. Which do you, which do you want? Do you want to do it immediately after this call, or in about an hour? Uh, immediately after would be great. I'm catching a flight here in a little bit, um, but it's, it's kind of an inconvenience. I know Reed and I are. And on this, so he'd catch me up if, if he has time to. Um, but Maybe that works for us. So let's uh, close this as soon as we can, and then you guys can get right into it. Um, Great. So we'll do. So that was PubSub. Then proposal for discussion IPLD. Nicola, do you do? Are you proposing a call today, or did Nicola? Go? Oh, you're just no video. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, it would be great to have actually we are planning a conversation there are some people that confirmed and they would like to have this call me included soon i don't know what soon means to you but 7 seven thirty would be the latest if it's possible yeah you, you, you want to do it today soon, soon means yeah. today and soon within today all right uh, can we do it on the Go IPFS slot? That's before seven in Central European time. Nicola, which time zone seven did you mean? Because uh, uh, I didn't. So basically, uh, me and some other people didn't confirm on the time because Richard said it, we. I ping people saying that it would be after this meeting. But I didn't specify the time yet. Yeah. Do you need to I allocated. Yes. Could that be the